make dessert, and I am in such a time crunch. These brownies are my go-to quick, quick dessert. It's super easy and very inexpensive. I get these for $1.25 each on sale. I am a budget conscious cook. So we stick in the mix. I do double batches because the leftovers are loved by anybody walking through the door and my kids. One cup corn oil, one half cup water. You just make it according to the directions. The secret with fabulous brownies is freshness. If it's cooked the same day, it's fantastic. But bakery brownies are often not done that very day. So this is gonna win every time, and this is a box mix. So four eggs go into two packages of brownies. Three, four. Now, I live by my KitchenAid. I have had this forever. It's really on its last leg, but it works. This is my very loved pan. I'm putting oil in, and you know what? It makes it not stick which is great, and it also makes the crust a little bit more crunchy because of the oil. It almost like fries the crust on the brownies. Take a paper towel and we spread it all around. That's it. That is mixed up well enough to get in this oven. I use the paddle to get it out because I don't like a lot of cleanup, and this is the quickest, fastest way now, I'm gonna to top this with homemade whipped cream and bananas, and that is gonna make a spectacular dessert. Okay, let's get this in the oven. Right now, it's a little hot, because this oven is still at 400, but I'm gonna turn it down to 350 in just a little bit. Now we're gonna make our homemade whipping cream for our brownies. So, two cups heavy whipping cream, about two tablespoons sugar, and again, I got my little trick, that's about one tablespoon, there's two tablespoons and one teaspoon vanilla. More or less, there we go. I am really stuck on machinery because it really takes the elbow grease out of cooking. Okay, it's gonna be loud, watch out. It can be messy, so I go like that. That'll take about 60 to 90 seconds. When it starts getting thick, you gotta really pay attention because if you let it go too long, you don't want that. You want to just let the cake start rising. You gotta stay right here and babysit it. When it starts sticking inside of your bowl, you know you're almost there. Now I see air gaps in it, off. When you see the air gaps, you know. I'll show you. When it's stirring and you see those air gaps and it's scraping, you know you've done your job. It's done. So into the bowl it goes. And that's gonna go on top of the brownies. Now that's it. I taste a little hint of vanilla, slightly sweet. I'm putting plastic wrap on that in the fridge until I'm ready to serve the brownies. Let's see what's ready to come out of the oven. Ah, the brownies are done. You can tell because they don't jiggle anymore. Those are ready. I want them to get cool really fast. I'm gonna stick them away from the heat because those are really done. Our dessert tonight is just a simple brownie with bananas on top.